Well, in 1951, um, he was invited by the Pavillon de Marsan of the Louvre Museum, which is the decorative arts part of that museum, to represent the decorative arts of the middle of the 20th century. Now, it's really hysterical because Tony was doing neo-baroque. He wasn't doing steel and chrome and black leather. He wasn't Eames or, or whatever. He was Tony doing his thing, and this is what they wanted him to do. So uh, it was an extraordinary exhibition. There was watercolors, furniture, costumes and sets, jewelry, and uh, tapestry. And a huge success. Um, everyone, everyone was there the opening night. If, if you've seen my book, Tony Duquette, you'll see the pictures from the opening night. It was Daisy Fellows and uh, Diana Duff Cooper and Carlos Dubesky and, uh, uh, you know, um, Arturo Lopez Wilsh on the Baron de Rede, and uh, uh, this show was so startling that the great French poetess Louise de Vilmorin wrote a poem, and it basically translates to, the works of Tony Duquette are no more preconceived than dreams. These works are dreams caught in the net of reality. So that was sort of nice. 